even after I'm, I'm dead, 100 years, my people will talk about the Gypsy King. And that was Tyson Fury. Fury, just 20 years old, and you can see a giant of a man. Here starts a new career. Tyson Fury, his first professional fight. And just how good is he going to look? As, as, a, as a gypsy, in our culture of people, the best thing that you can ever be is a fighting man. But what, what a fantastic name, Tyson Fury. Let's hope he can back it up. If you're known as a good fighting man, you may as well be a multimillionaire. Been boxing almost as long as he can remember. Very rare you see a guy of his size, his stature working his body in their first fight, but this is a good onslaught. And every man wants his daughter to marry the best fighting man. That's how it is, because that's the only thing that matters. He really felt the power of that left hook, and Fury has started with a first round victory. Round one. And Tyson Fury with one big knockout win, now goes looking for another one. Young giant of a heavyweight, is he going to be a big, big name for years to come? What Tyson Fury has done in his career is amazing. It's a good right hand. Bravely, the German is still there. Named after Mike Tyson, by the way. I know. Named after Mike Tyson. <laughs> Boom, perfect timing. Skillful delivery of punches. Oh, and it's been stopped. It's been stopped by the referee. That is unparalleled in that division. Your bloodline goes back 200 years yeah. on both sides of your family. Bare knuckle fighting. Bare knuckle fighting. Like most traveler boys, young Tyson longed to fight. For 10 generations, the Fury men have been bare knuckle prize fighters. This is a young fella who. Not this one, this is not a particularly young fella, this is a young fella who is uh, physically taller than both the Klitschko's. Six foot nine, 257 pounds. When a bare knuckle fighter reaches the top... He's hurt him, he's hurt him, dude. he's backing away now. He's crowned with a rare title, Gypsy King. Tyson Fury's bloodline, there were two. One on each side of his family. He stopped it! No! He stopped it! Are you he crazy? doesn't like it! He doesn't crazy? like it. He doesn't like it one little bit. When all my friends and relatives and family were going out getting drunk as teenagers and kids, I was in the gym. I was the first man there and the last one to leave every night. The Gypsy King on his mother's side foretold a kind of prophecy to Peter Fury. He said, can you imagine what kind of offspring they're going to have if they ever get into boxing? He said, we're destined to have a world champion. I'll never forget that. Now puts two, three, four punch combinations together in succession. Well, he's undefeated. He's on, but he, but uh, he's undefeated. He's taller mm -hmm. than Klitschko. Yep. He's very awkward. Yep. Right uppercut that Fury just threw there was enough to take your head clean up your shoulders. So I think they're going to pull him out. I think it may be, it may be finishing here. They're having a look at him. Yep, the fight's over. Lee Swabe has had enough. Now then, a chance to chart the rise of a potential British heavyweight star, Tyson Fury. There he is, six foot nine, eighteen and a half stone. Has he stepped too far up the ladder? One thing is certain: if Tyson Fury does fall off the ladder, the Bethnal Green Arena will shake. Coming to us from Manchester, he was the 2008 ABA Senior Super Heavyweight Champion. And now as a professional, he is undefeated with four wins and all four wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Tyson Fury. Our traveling community settle our own disputes by fighting bare knuckles outside on the street. opening round. But if you're going to walk into the firing line, you're going to get nailed. And that's exactly what's happened. If 
fight for honor. Yep. Fight for pride. Yep. Fight for money. Yep. Ability-wise, I'm five times better than anyone in the world at the moment. Anybody, the clutch goes anyone. They're big as me, but they're not as fast. They've got no movement. They're like wood, if you know what I mean. Robotic, as it said. Too easy to hit right now. Kershaw's got no defence whatsoever. Wide open to the right hands. He's looking to finish it right. Fury able to tee off with his array of punches. And the left to the body is the one that put Belshaw down. Big left hook, sweeping. Good one, the other one. It might be that it's going to be all over here. The bell will sound. Well, he's going to be able to go back to his corner. But if we didn't know before, we now know exactly who has the power. Took the shot, no, that was a signal, another signal. And Fury there is all over. You know, that was good sportsmanship by Fury. He could have continued the combination, continued throwing the punches. He looked at his opponent, saw that he was hurt, and stopped the onslaught. Good sportsmanship. But I'm very excited about the prospect. Yeah, he, sure, mate. Prospect. Very it's excited. Fantastic kid. Six foot nine, you know. Whoa. You know, I really hope he's got it. What can he do tonight against Alexander Selesen? Within the British boxing game, if you speak to people they all say his boxing ability his actual boxing skills are a little bit underrated so as ends bravely trying to land those big right out oh, he's been hurt by body shots so yep i think that will be the end of it he will go in against John McDermott in a few weeks' time, who is an altogether more capable and accomplished performer. How big a test is it, though, against John McDermott? This is a massive test. Uh, Fury's only had 60, done 60 rounds. McDermott's done 125 professional rounds. Ten three-minute rounds of boxing for the heavyweight championship of England. Tyson Fury. Is Fury really the future? Is he worthy of Second all... The height. I don't fight for money, I don't fight for fame, I don't fight for glory, I fight because I love it. I love getting punched in the face because I love tasting blood, I love hurting people. To me, fighting's my life. Good shot from McDermott and Fury is in a fight for the first time. And look at that from McDermott. He is not used to this kind of pressure, Fury. Up in the head. Garcinus at the bell, McDermott in with a head, and McDermott is really wound up. I mean, John was an experienced fighter, you know, a good seasoned pro. And McDermott defects, good uppercut from Fury. Good action in these first... Terrific heavyweight battle, isn't it? Your winner from Manchester and new English heavyweight champion Tyson Fury. 98-92 by six points. Tyson, you got the win, you got the verdict. Did you deserve it? Yeah, I deserved it, yeah. I worked very hard for that. I had to dig so deep for that. John McDermott was a lot harder than I thought he'd ever be. All credit to him, but. I thought I worked the hardest throughout the fight and I deserved to win. Hi there, good evening. It's the rematch that simply had to happen. The first fight sparked outrage and even led to a change in the rules. Now the stakes are even higher, with the winner getting a shot at the British heavyweight title. Finally, John McDermott and Tyson Fury had their rematch. I love Fury to death, but I think John McDermott knows a bit too much and he's got a very clever guy in his Well, corner. he's a really nice guy, John McDermott, but I think the future's Tyson Fury. Who has learned more from their first encounter? <laughs> Fast right hands on the left hook from Fury. McDermott's in trouble in the neutral corner. Good shot from Fury again. I think his legs were all over the. 
You know, he's still a young man. He's just a kid. He's 21. Give him a little bit more time. Good job. Many of the guys started out with high ex uh, expectations and aspirations and fell along the way. He's in his special care unit, and I think he was, what, he was about a pound and a half in weight or something, weren't you? Well, I looked and I, you know, I had him in my hand, picked him up, put him in my hand. You there. told the doctor, yeah. not only would he live, yeah. but he would grow to be... Nearly seven feet tall, 20 stone, and the new heavyweight champion of the world. So, John, you lived in here? Yeah, for 15 years, yeah. 15 years? Yeah. Who was in here with you? All of us, the full family. Tyson, all his brothers, the full family. Six of you in here? Six of us, yeah. This is the base camp, this is the beginning. People remember for what they do in life. They, go, they only go down in history for what they achieve. I was going into fighters ranked in the top 15 in the world, like that Brazilian or not, Jack Nascimento. Great shot, perfect right cross, absolutely perfect. Halfway through the first round, the Brazilian chased the canvas for the first time. The night before the weigh-in, I was out till five in the morning with my cousin, drinking champagne in uh, on Dean's Gate. Oh, lovely right, coming in for Fury. So if I can do that sort of thing, doing these stupid things. Brazilian's face becoming redder and redder on the left-hand side and on the bridge of his nose as well. What can I do if I um, do it properly? Oh, lovely right from Tyson. Oh! And he is out, the Brazilian there. Winner of the International Heavyweight Challenge, Tyson Fury. 2011, you had your first fight with, with Del Boy, Derek Chisora. Probably your first proper, proper step up, do you agree? Chisora was supposed to fight Vladimir Klitschko before me. And many feel that Chisora will bully Fury into submission here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This is what you have been waiting for. This is the main event of the evening. And they're going to go toe-to-toe to, -toe to a vertical boxing for the British and Commonwealth Heavyweight Championship. You can feel the tension in that ring between these two players. There's a grudge of sorts, there's a touch of madness too. There's a title and there's a venue that's swimming in history. And both are untested on this kind of stage to a great degree. Chizora was... Twice, of course, denied fights by Vladimir Klitschko. It almost felt like he was stepping down to take this. Right hand over the top for Chisora, and Fury needs to get out of trouble here. When you're out there, you're a gladiator, my friend. I like the edge of you and him. But back comes Fury. Shots to the body and then a right hand. Yeah, they were all 50-50 fights. Fighting fighters that were world ranked and only, only handfuls of fights. each other's heart before this fight. There were times there where Tyson Fury was taken somewhere that he's never been. I was in a rush. I wanted to move quick. I didn't want to have 40 up like fights and fight nobody. So. Fury on the back foot at the moment, trying to survive, trying to keep his dreams alive here. He was either going to be the best or I wasn't. If I wasn't good enough, then beat me up. And Fury now turning to the left-handed style there for a moment. I always said, what happens to bullies if you stand up and they fold? And he was a bully, he had the bully uh, mentality and that was his uh, thing. Logically, Fury knows that Chisora can turn things with one punch. So many potential riches await the winner here tonight. And he's enjoying himself. He's not feeling the pressure, at least. He doesn't look like it. 
hurt in round two, but now he has come back to use combination punches to dominate Chisora. The overhand right has been effective as well. Blood from the mouth of Derek Chisora right now. Disappoint big fights lately have, but not this one. It is Tyson Fury's nose. Tyson is rubbish. He's a dirty jippo who cannot fight. Our man will kill him. Guess what? Not one of them could. Good evening and welcome to Belfast. We're live on Channel 5 for the next instalment in the story of Britain's new boxing heavyweight sensation. Yes, we're expecting a real examination of Fury's credentials here this evening in the famous King's Hall in Belfast. He has to win Fury if he wants to keep on track for that world title beat. Fury is an interesting fighter. Everyone knows that he's tall. You know, you've got to be cautious. Yeah. You know, they're really throwing him in today. But he likes to fight in the inside of the bay like this, and it makes it exciting. Tyson Fury wants to make a statement here, and he's beating You can't learn it. You've either got it or you've not. Someone six foot nine shouldn't be able to move like I can. I defy every law of gravity. It's not fair. And already blood to the nose of Fairfax. The Tibet can get over ten rounds. Left to the bonnet. I don't know anything else. I've always been a fighter, from being born to being 30 years old now. Born a traveller, it's in the blood. I'm not going to try and be something I'm not. I'm going to be proud of what I am. The overhand right that Chisora landed some, and that's his Achilles heel. A pointed foot to get it in. Fury staggers back again. He's got a granite chin, Fury, but it's being tested here. Great round, and I think we have a fight. The reflexes, the, the, the slipping, the sliding, the awkwardness, the ability to box both ways. I'm a natural, gifted talent. Fury can box. Can he negotiate this calmly, Tyson Fury? He always seems to make the heart flutter. And I needed to be tested to see what type of character it was. Americans, you fought the Mexicans, you fought the Europeans, but you ain't never fought the Gypsy King before. Fury with a right hand, got the rush, Pikic to his boots, follows him with a left hand, right hand again, and Pikic is right. Still 50 seconds to go in the round here. Fury was down in round two, back on his feet and maybe on the brink of a win here. Big right hand again. Recorder uh, um, leading up to this, he says he, he's never been knocked over. He's worked all over Christmas for this. You do start to wonder. He takes much more of this. He has to get in there and stop it. And he has stopped it. I saw him 
I'm doing against SS Cunningham, who was a cruiserweight, moved up to heavyweight, and it looked like he flattened Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury got up his stride. The man has amazing heart. Ladies and gentlemen, from Madison Square Garden, New York City, New York, USA, uh, let's get ready to rumble! I expect a good, clean fight. Let's touch gloves. Touch him up. Yes, he was a slip boxer, um, very awkward, very good at skills, and um, just knew what he was doing. He was a um, two-time IBF world champion. Listen, if you get hit on the chin and you don't, you get knocked out for the count, then you're gone, aren't you? But if I can get back up, I'm going to get back up. And I thought to me, I'm going to kill you stone dead now. Fury's hurt. He got caught with a good right hand by Steven. He fell in. He was definitely, definitely hurt. You put me down, embarrass me in front of all these people. I'm going to hurt you badly. Good body shot by Fury. I think Steve's a little hurt here, Kenny. He's up and cut two of them on that one. Cutting him, backing up just a bit. Yeah, Fury, Steve's almost done here. Look at this. Oh, that was a nice. Straight back up and fired into Cunningham and, and ended up knocking him out. The only person to ever knock him out in a boxing fight. I said it straight to Vladimir. I said, You're looking at a king. I said, Have you ever fought a king before? He said, No. I said, Will you fight him one now? And he said, You're going to lose to one. And he was known as the guy who would box and hold, jab and hold. I mean, he was one of the most boring heavyweights of all time. Nothing personal but business. I have nothing personal. No, it's very you. personal for you're, me, Vlad, you're, yeah? It's a personal business. mission for me to rid, rid boxing of a boring person like you. Yeah. You're boring. I want to rid you out of the heavyweight division. Tell me more how much you hate me. Tell me more. I don't hate you. You need to get under I, my skin. I don't hate you. Listen, Make it personal. Listen, you ask the question and I will answer. Okay, please. Listen, I'm interested in breaking your face in. That's what I'm interested in. Everyone said that Klitschko was the sauna king. He couldn't be beaten in sauna. The sauna king? Yeah. At Matty's training camp, we're in the sauna, about 10 guys in the sauna, and it came down to me and Vlad in the sauna. Do you remember this Vladimir at all? Right, he can say what he wants, he can deny it, whatever, yeah? But I was Honestly, prepared, what are you talking about? I was prepared to die in that sauna before I'd got out. I stayed I believe, in for like I believe, 40 minutes. Um, who got out first? He did. He got out first. And what did you think at that time? I thought mental victory. I mentioned it to him, and he said he didn't remember. So then I had him mentally, because I knew he remembered. He would jab you, grab you. But that shit didn't work with you. It didn't, for the first time. <laughs> I've won it. I am the man who beat the man. But I always knew it, and I always said it. So, not being big-headed, but I told you so. Every moment spent with you. His moment I treasure Forever and ever and I I don't want to close my eyes Serenaded her to the world. The Aerosmith song that was used on the, the film Armageddon mm. where they saved the world. And I saved the world from a boring era of Klitschko. We have the new unified heavyweight champion of the world, Mr. Tyson Fury. In, almost insurmountable obstacle in front of you. Becoming the heavyweight champion of the world. All of a sudden you did it then the depression kicks in. Yeah. Heavyweight boxing champion Tyson Fury has gotten himself in some deep water. Our friend Mr. Fury has failed the drugs test due to there being cocaine in his system. What were the drugs of choice once you won the title? Cocaine was the usual one. Heavyweight champion Tyson Fury has been making headlines left and right since winning the belt. Now he's opening up to Rolling Stone about his personal struggles with drugs and depression. You don't like it, change the station. You don't like it, don't take photos. You don't like it, don't print it in your newspaper. Do I care? Not really. He doesn't look well. You look at stuff that he does, he's very erratic in his behaviours. Call Batman. Turning up to a press conference for no reason as Batman. I don't live a strict lifestyle. 
I don't even live an athlete's lifestyle. It, it's an absolute disgrace to call me an athlete. Cocaine and alcohol. It's like <laughs> roller coaster. Crazy drug, drug and alcohol mix. No, I'll have to show you what the athlete looks like. <laughs> this is the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. There you go. Does that look like a fighter's body? Clearly um, not. At the time, I, I wasn't training. Have a look. Fat man. That's who beat you. Shame on you, man. I've not been in the gym for months. I've not been training. I've been going through depression. I just don't want to live anymore. For those that don't know, Tyson Fury has pulled out of the rematch with Vladimir Klitschko at the MEN because of mental health issues. I was sitting here, 400 pounds, a dr drug addict, an alcoholic. I didn't care about nothing. I just wanted to die so bad. I give up on life. And just as I was heading towards that bridge at 190 in this Ferrari, it had crushed like a coke can by the way if I'd have hit it. I heard a voice say, no, don't do this Tyson. Think about your kids. Think about your family and your little boys and girls growing up with no father. And everyone saying your dad was a weak man. He left you. He took the easy way out because he couldn't do anything about it. And for the first time in years, I knew I was going to make a comeback. You know, you got to crack on and realise that you did it to yourself. So there's no pity for an idiot. Just want to say I'm coming back better than I ever was before. And after that, he loses it all, blows up to 400 pounds. He looks like he's basically done. That's very heavy. Ballooned in weight 400 pounds and retired and seemed to be having a, an emotional breakdown and a mental breakdown. And I see this video of Deontay Wilder saying, yeah, Tyson Fury's finally done that because he can never come back. He gave me that much more motivation to return <laughs> just so I can beat Deontay Wilder. And he was a boxing villain at that point. Oh, 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 oh. And he has built himself back up. He's gotten himself back in the ring. He's trying to clean up his life. Unbeaten in 40 fights. WBC champion, the biggest puncher in heavyweight history. After the layoff, I've had two and a half years out the ring. I was never defeated inside a boxing ring. And I wanted to fight the best when I came back. He's gonna feel pain that he never felt before. The problem is they're both unbeaten. They've both got unbelievable self-belief. My boxing ability's never been in question. I've never lost anything from my boxing ability. My movement, my feints, my IQ, nothing. All, all I did was pile our weight on. I will say this about Wilder. The right hand is something special. Are oh, you questioning the Octave Wilder's power? The proof is in the banana! And he come to be embarrassed by this sort of skinny one. But I guess what I'm asking is that being out of the game for two and a half years, I mean, don't you need a little bit more time to prepare? Even though he retired and got stripped and hadn't fought in a while and everything, in boxing tradition, okay. if that dude is still undefeated, no one's beating him in the ring, and he beat the champ to become the champ, he has a claim to the lineal title. Los Angeles, December the 1st, a day of destiny at the Staples Center. Welcome, the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury! So there are plenty of people in the box. Well, Wilder came on my show earlier this week as well. He said, I'm a whip as you know what, and then we're going to go party. That's exactly what he said. And he meets it, and I have no doubt that he meets it. Round one, we are about to learn the truth. Uh, my initial prediction was that he'll take Tyson Fury out in the seventh or eighth round. He's orthodox, or he's southpaw, he's against the ropes, he's throwing jabs, he's making you chase him, he's making you uncomfortable with the big power punches from Deontay Wilder. Difficult to see what the clear shot was. He's on his feet, but we said he don't. So that's what I gotta do. I gotta beat this man to be the best. 
Bianca Wilder, his power in the first round, the same power in the 10th round, and the 11th round, and we've seen that. Wilder needs one huge bingo punch. Against Deontay Wilder, looking for all the world like he's pulling another upset. There's a right. And down he goes. Right hand, left hand. Has there ever been a doubt in your Incredible turn of events here in the 12th! It was become a meme. The Fury got up from that right hand. You don't see a guy who's taking time off, who's had drug problems, who's ballooned up to 400 pounds. All this stuff that he's the guy who boxes like that. A heavyweight title. He couldn't believe he'd been a draw. He could not believe it. Because that belt belongs to me, Tyson Fury, a.k.a. the Gypsy King. After the fight, Fury was back on top. The biggest heavyweight fight in years was set. He said that he figured out something. Interestingly enough, after he got hit with that big blow in the 12th round of the first fight, and he got got up at that point and, and, and took the attack to Wilder in that 12th round. It's time for the main event of the evening. With him saying that he's going to knock me out in the second round, you know, it leads me to to suspect that he's got, for one, his nervous energy. He, you gotta think, Deontay Wilder coming into that fight. What a spectacular wow. entrance by the baddest man on the planet, Deontay Wilder, the heavyweight champion of the world. So he was probably thinking he, he could murk anybody. You know, mm -hmm. All he has to do is to touch him. Tyson Fury changed trainers leading up to this fight, not working with Javon Sugar Hill out of the Crunk Boxing Gym in Detroit. Clean at all times, protect yourself at all times. Tyson Fury predicted a knockout in the second. The pundits did exactly what you'd expect them to predict a Fury loss. In order for him to knock Wilder out, you gotta be willing to take it yourself. I don't know of any. And snap back the head of Fury. Everything you told me three weeks ago, I'm coming in at 270. It's gonna be simple, balance, fundamentals, one, two. I'm gonna lean on him and take him out. He shifted his strategy, having seen a potential weakness in Wilder's defense during their first meeting. I don't know what you talking about, knocking somebody in the second round. You ain't never knocked nobody in no second round. You got pillows for fear. He never believed that Tyson Fury was actually going to fight that way. He was going to jump on him. Mm -hmm. I mean, but Tyson said he was going to do that. I know, but... He parted ways with his longtime trainer and took to the famed Kronk Gym, where he trained to utilize every pound of his massive frame. And he is putting his body weight on Wilder. Wilder needs to stay away from the rope. From this standpoint, blood streaming a little bit from the mouth of Wilder. Fury was going to dictate the action, an unfamiliar position for the Bronx Bomber, whose opponents typically danced away from his mighty power. Deontay Wilder! Wilder's legs 
or not underneath him. His legs, his legs are gone underneath him. Wow. The ear is bleeding, so the equilibrium may be off. Fury took every chance he got to lean on Wilder. Grabbing, tiring. Yeah, the fact that he is putting his body on Deontay Wilder. Sapping his energy, tying him up, and battering his body. I believe he put that exercise on. He used every bit of it as well for that fight. Making the fight an ugly one. It might have staggered Wilder. Oh, oh. Fury going on the attack. Wilder's legs were gone. Starting the sixth round, we'll see if the champion can reassert himself, but he still seems to be having issues with his balance. Fury pummeled Wilder. So you want to taste blood. You've said this before, and you've said it in the lead-up here. not bother me. I'm going to take him, I'm going to cut him, and see how he, he feels like it. I'm going to see if he's going to get up off the floor. I don't think he's got the bottled minerals, whatever you want to call it. Corner threw in the towel. Tyson Fury has become the new WBC heavyweight champion of the world. The Gypsy King was back on top. He's a king who has fallen, rose again, never rose as high as he did tonight. Hail, hail the planet's baddest man. Nobody brings it home like it should. It's nobody. Make it so.